that's a big bloody teapot. What's up, Insta peeps? It's Ollie here, the tea guru, and I've got a tea here I'm about to try. Um, I've got real high hopes for this one. Um, the guys who tried our exotic Laos Deep Forest Gushu, um, this is on a similar kind of vein to that. This is Vietnam, well, it's not. It's, it's from the Yunnan Forest, uh, a borderline tea, um, Deep Forest Gushu from somewhere on the border between Vietnam and Yunnan. There are some tea trees deep in the jungle, and this, if I like it, will be coming out at a super good price, just like the exotic Lao Skushu. It's, I can tell you from the aroma of the dry leaf, it's really expressive. It's kind of, um, uh, you could say on the verge of fruitiness, but not quite. Um, anyway, I'm gonna dive straight into this. Oh my God. Now I'm not normally one to, uh, to build up the hype. First impressions are pretty important. Now, that's not to say that you cannot change your mind after first impressions, but when something jumps at you from the first sip, that's, um, that's pretty special. That's pretty special. Um, I, was, I was told that this tea is a no-brainer, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm now inclined to uh, completely agree. Um, so, what am I getting from this tea? This tea is so expressive. Now, bear in mind, this is my first shot at trying this tea out. Um, I'm on the sixth infusion. Now, the first infusion I did of this tea, um, the first thing I got was an abundance of sweetness. It was thick. And the aftertaste came through very easily on the first infusion. Now, for a gushu, that's, that's, they don't always go like that. Sometimes it takes three fusions just to wake the thing up. This one is, is ready to go on the get-go. It's as if this tea, this tr these trees have been sitting in the deep forest just waiting, waiting for to be plucked and <laughs> to be tried out. This tea is shouting, it's shouting, it's shouting. Sweet, creamy, kind of, on the verge of exotic fruits, kind of hoi gan, after taste. The chi is hitting me from, mm, after infusion three, I'm starting to get some chi, and the chi is meditative, stroke, discombobulating. The main aspects of this tea is its flavour. It's so pushy. It's so pushy. And I have yet to, to finish this tea out. You know, this, this tea is going to go easy 12, potentially 20 infusions. Deep forest uh, pua. This is a pua. So this is this is uh, Chinese uh, Yunnan tea. Um, borderline deep forest stuff um, in the forest that meets Yunnan and you know somewhere and there's, a, there's a lot of forest right so I'm not entirely sure where this comes from this is all the information I have right now um, 10 kg of this available I'm gonna snap the lot up I'm gonna press a button on everything um, very very happy at how expressive this tea is and um, I was making similarities between this and, and our Laos Gushu uh, exotic tea cake. What is it about these deep forest borderline teas? They're just so expressive. Now this isn't the same as exotic. Exotic, of course, is, um, is, is from a different region. Laos is um, much more expressive in, in the fruit. Um, but this tea um, is so sweet. Sweet and flavorful. It reminds me a little bit of Yibang. The kind of creamy, fruity nature. 
um, but it's it's very it's got a lot of force behind it this chi is just building mm. I have no idea how long this is going to go for how many infusions I can get out of this thing but it just keeps putting out Beautiful. So, um, if you are interested in this tea, and like I said, I don't normally hype stuff up. I don't like to hype stuff up. In fact, if you look through my my Guru YouTube videos, you'll find a video. Um, it was actually the first cake we ever released, Boomer. And I said, this isn't actually a particularly good tea. <laughs> and I don't even think it's from Monku. <laughs> but here it is. And it is the price. And, you know, it's all right. I just say how it is. And I can tell you folks, if, if you're into the Laos uh, Gushu, like exotic, this should be on your radar, 100%. Now, if you want to get this tea, um, look, I've got a, I've got a, I'm going to press a button on it. I've been given first dibs. Um, I have to make those moves in the next few days. It's going to get pressed. It's going to get wrapped. And then it's going to need at least two months of rest before I can actually put it out to market. Um, so we're talking most likely before, you know, for it to come over here and then climatize again for a little bit, maybe a week. Uh, I think this will be coming out end of Feb or very early March. Okay. Uh, so look out for that. Just, uh, stay tuned and I can assure you, I mean, you know, I think the price is going to mirror the exotic Laos Gushu as well. So, you know, price-wise, we're probably talking around that sort of area. Under £100. Um, to get a tea with, with chi like this, super expressive, for under 100 quid for 200 gram cake? Boggles. So, yeah, super happy. Um, guys, I really hope you're keeping well. Uh, these times are... Um, are uh, challenging for, for many of us, but um, at least we're lucky. We have a lovely passion uh, that can help see us through. Um, until next time, guys, happy cupping. We'll see you soon. Okay.